tells me I got here at about 11.53, because that's seven minutes difference between how long I've been here and what time it is, so there you go. But now I gotta get out and untarp my load without falling asleep in the process. It is 60 degrees and it feels good. I love it when I have help on tarping. Because <laughs> if I hadn't, I would have taken an extra 20 minutes at least because those things were being unruly as all get out. But now I am untarped and I can show the actual load. Uh, yeah. Book splattered truck. <laughs> Had a little bit of forward shift, but mm, not bad. Not absolutely terrible. Yeah. Not even really notable. And yes, my door is open. Don't give me any crap about it. I don't care. Uh, it's just a bunch of 2x8 stuff. And there's like 30 trucks behind me. <laughs> Yay. And now I'm going to enjoy the other half of Subway Sandwich I picked up in Orange, Texas last night. And then we are going to get unloaded. And probably have at least an 8 hour break by the time we get done with that. So that'll be great. Bounce up to Houston, get loaded, go home. Sounds good to me right about now. I am so friggin' tired. So I can't remember the last time I showed anything concerning strapping, but this is how I got a strap line now, because this thing's all stripped out. Like I can twist it all I want, it'll just keep spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. And you can watch the threads get all sorts of fucked up. Yeah, it's just absolutely friggin' lovely. You can even see how bad off the threads are if the camera will focus. There we go. Yeah, so I just stick a wood block in there, otherwise it just shakes around like a fish, you pout, and it's freaking impossible to use. So I just keep this with me now, because I can't stand that thing just flopping around like that. It's impossible to work with. So I'm going to be picking up a strap winder when I'm up in Joplin on Wednesday, to say the least, along with maybe a couple other things. I don't know. We'll see. But as you might have noticed, I am getting unloaded. I am going beep, 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 beep behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, I never thought I'd see the day when I'd see gas prices that low. And, you know, I sort of say low with a note of sarcasm there. <laughs> Yes, I'm in the middle of sitting in a stoplight, so I just had to mention those prices. They're nuts how low they're getting now, and I just know it ain't going to last. <laughs> hey, I get to go now, yay. And now I am once again at a place I have never been before, picking up wiry stuff and steel and rusted crap. <laughs> yeah. You got lots of time, three hours and 42 minutes left of drive time and 187 miles to the house. You know what? I may not need to take a two hour break. I might just be set here. Cause look at my 14 hour clock. It's over the 11, so we're pretty good there. Ah, and I don't have to tarp this. So that's gonna be just freaking smooth as glass getting out of here, you know? It's straight up, take uh, Texas 321 up to US 59 and from there it's just smooth sailing all the way just like I always do same thing different day you know oh I come up with 105 and where am I going oh I'm going to Cleveland awesome that's a freaking awesome right there I don't remember if there's a way around that I think there's only a loop toward the bottom half unfortunately so that's gonna suck, but we'll get through it, and I might actually just go this way instead of going back down. I'll save a mile or two. Yeah, because I'm smarter than the GPS. <laughs> oh, I'm really smarter than the GPS on one thing. Okay, I had to take US 90 to get up here, but 
my GPS just did not want to take 90 at all. It wanted me to get off on my Cardi and go up this way. Well, I bypassed that and it wanted me to take 610 and go this way. And I was like, no. And I bypassed that and went to the next ramp and just took US 90 all the way up. Well, then the freeway ended up here and it told me to take the exit, which I had to anyway. But then it wanted me to go up here and take 90 over to the other, the beltway and come back down and get on 90 again. It's like, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> This thing is so stupid sometimes. And I probably saved about six miles by doing it my way instead of the stupid way. <laughs> I kept saying every time I'd recalculate, I'm like, I'm not doing stupid, go away. But anyway, yeah, that's how things are looking right now. I've been here for the last 15 minutes, and like I said, I'm already getting started getting loaded. I've got something on the front already, which I had to get positioned just right because the winch only goes one slot on the front end so yeah good stuff I'll come back when I'm loaded I ain't even been here an hour it's currently 1056 and this is it this is my load it's ready it's done it's ready hey, I'm ready to drive off of this lot right now a couple straps because those uh, bundles right there are really really short so I had to use three straps see it ends here and then there so yeah one for the front one for the rear one for the middle and then there's a whole bunch of loose crap in there so that's just freaking awesome yeah freaking awesome I had to do some fun little strapping endeavors with these cuz uh, yeah it's hanging over the front on this but it's okay in the back the opposite is true on the other side. It's hanging over in the back and inside on the front. So it's got a little bit of a twist to it, but it should be all right. <clears throat> it's going to stay on the deck. That I am confident of. It's got seven. How many straps is that? Ooh, that really looks funky from here. Like it's really hanging over. <laughs> hmm, I might get the forklift driver to just try to push that edge over. That looks a bit extreme. And yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go up front and get my paperwork, and then we will be on the move with more than enough time to work with. Sweet. Well, we're coming pretty close to our edge. So, I'm just setting up the camera, getting it ready to go, and we'll hit the record when it is time. I still have a lot of time, and yeah, plenty of time. Uh, phone does not like to focus or be steady. All right, that's all I wanted to do just now, and now I'm going to take off, and we'll go from there. Yish, so shaky.
Let it be known that at 1.20 Central Time, this truck has passed its one millionth mile. Go 92007. Well, I got here with more than plenty of time to spare, considering I've been here for 19 minutes already. 16. <laughs> That's only 35 minutes, you know? It's all good. So now I have 15 minutes of remaining drive time, and I didn't even bother with a two-hour break. It's freaking awesome. I'll do it. <clears throat> so now my blazer is sitting here. And uh, I have about 114 miles left to drive by the route it wants to take that I'm probably not going to end up taking, but I'm not in the mood to deal with that right now. All right, the knobs are popped. The power is disconnected to most everything. And I'm still doing 644, so that's awesome. I'm itching. I put my shorts on finally. Yay! All right, we can shut her down and get out of here. <laughs> Finally, I feel like I've been in this truck for the last three weeks, and it's only been a week. Goodbye!